what's in the box. And what's in the box today is puzzles. Puzzles are fantastic because they really help children develop lots of different things. So puzzles can have lots of different types of grip. So this one's got a much bigger grip than this one here for older children. Um, puzzles can be very motivating because once a child has learned how to do a puzzle, they can sit and do the puzzle by themselves. Or you can use a puzzle to take turns. So you can do the my turn, your turn. You can build in some language about different puzzles and different things that are in the puzzle. So obviously this one's about food. This one's fantastic for older children because you can tie in some signs that are very important when you're out and about in the community. And then repetition of this puzzle might help reinforce some of the learnings that you've done while you're teaching some of those concepts and those signs. Puzzles vary in difficulty. Obviously this one is quite a tricky one. It's actually got different levels of a chicken's life cycle um, and you build it up inside the puzzle. And I can tell you it's pretty tricky because it took me a while to work it out. And it's actually really good fun. Once you've learnt to do that and it's a bit challenging, which is what you want to do, you want to have that puzzle so that the child can learn. It's a little bit challenging and then they can repeat it and repeat it and feel really good about what they're able to do by themselves. All about independence. Um, puzzles can also be about, you can teach different concepts. So here we've got, um, you know, big, bigger, biggest, or small and big. It depends. In this one here, we've got all kinds of concepts and different types of grips. This is a very, very popular toy that we have at the toy box. Um, and this is called our sorting pie. And in our sorting pie, we have two sets of tongs, which is a different grip again, that your OT might be working with your child on. Um, and you can grab your item and put it in and out of the sorting pie. And there's lots of different things. You might be working on colors, you might be working on what's the same or what's different. You might be working on names, so you might call that grapes. You might be working on numbers. And you can use this toy, because this comes in and out, to sort these different things. So it's not called a sorting pie for nothing. You can sort everything out in this pie, and it's fantastic. So there's lots of different concepts and different skills that you're learning while you're using puzzles. There's problem solving, there's spatial awareness, there's memory, there's different grips that you're using to actually um, um, do the puzzle properly. There's different conversation that you can end, you can build into using your puzzle, or there's the independence of doing that puzzle by themselves or a pile of puzzles um, so that they can actually feel really good about what they've learned. And it's really satisfying when you finish something. I know there's lots of adults out there at the moment doing thousand piece puzzles and they're finding that very calming and they're finding that to be very satisfying when they finish. So I think um, some children really enjoy puzzles and they are really good for learning different things and for de developing different fine motor skills. So when you come to the toy box next, feel free to look at our massive range of puzzles. Have a great day.